In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to get the perfect microblading strokes. How do you hold the tool to get nice and crisp hairs? And how do you know if you're going deep enough into the skin? I will be demonstrating on different surfaces, things that you may not expect. Hi everyone, this is Julia from Pigmenta Perna Cosmetics and welcome to my channel. The number one place for permanent makeup education, science, and inspiration. If you're new to my channel, please make sure that you click that subscribe button below, hit the bell, and turn on your notification. Everything I mention in this video will be linked in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start by doing a stroke the correct way. First and foremost, the most important thing is to hold your needle in a 90 degree angle with consistent pressure. The stroke, as you can see, comes out nice and clean without bleeding or perforations. Next, let's do a stroke in about a 45 degree angle. When I wipe this, you will see that there is some bleeding and the stroke is not straight. On this last one, which is also not done in a correct angle, I will add also inconsistent pressure. The stroke is all over the place. It's crooked and the line is interrupted. On some points along the stroke, it also does not overlap, creating a jagged line. On a real person, it could look something like this. The point of this exercise is that you take something that is not flat. Fruits are a great way to learn microblading because different fruits could represent different skin types. In this case, the lemon represents thick, oily skin. Shout out to my lead practitioner, Tiffany, who gave me the idea of using the lemon. Here I did three correct strokes. Again, this represents rough skin. So you can see that depending on the skin type, the same strokes could look different. Coming from an angle that is just slightly off 90 degrees and light pressure. Say we do 75 or 80 degrees. Let's see how it comes out. Not too bad, but uh, you can see that it's not 100% straight. Here I'm doing about a 60 degree angle. One thing I want to mention is when you do anything other than 90 degree, you will run into issues. Your strokes do not come out thin and fine. The more off your angles are, the thicker the strokes get, and the higher the probability that you will have color migration. And this last stroke is about 45 degrees. Compared to the first three strokes, the last three strokes are either not straight or they're too thick and it goes too deep. All strokes in this exercise are done in a 90 degree angle. I'm showing you this so you understand that besides the angle, you have to also be aware of how deep you are going into the skin. If the pressure is too light, the strokes will not show after healing and more touch-ups have to be done. The color will heal a warmer hue. This stroke is not deep enough. Here I'm doing three passes on the same hairline. Now if you're new at this, I advise you to only go over the same stroke again if you're very confident so you can make sure that you're not going outside that line and making it too thick. You will also notice that I am doing a sweeping movement so I can slightly overlap each time I go in. With this technique, I can make sure that I have even saturation of color and consistent pressure. Touch-ups will be minimal.
just going gradually deeper and deeper so I can give you a side-by-side -side comparison. So I do want to mention the fake skin I'm working with right now. Out of all the practice skins, this is my favorite. It's called Real Skin and I will give you a link below. This skin is actually less known to the perma makeup world. Um, but body tattoo artists, however, like to use this a lot because it's the closest to actual skin. It displays the colors correctly and it feels real. They also have different ethnic skin colors for you to practice on, which is awesome. The last stroke I did is way too deep. At this point, you're in the mid to lower dermis and your color will definitely migrate and spread underneath the skin. Your color will actually heal more ash as well. This stroke is the one I did three passes on and I also did the sweeping movement. This is the correct depth and color saturation. And then the first one, of course, is just too shallow. So let's do a whole eyebrow on a mango. I love the skin on the mango because it represents skin that is not too oily or too dry and not too mature. Neither too thick or too thin either. value out of this video and if you have any questions please make sure that you contact us at pigmenta at usa.com or tell me in the comments below thanks so much for watching see you same time next week